22 at 6 with nice weather expected for the next few days. People are getting out on the water to celebrate the holiday. Now, according to the Coast Guard, drinking and boating makes up for nearly 17% of deaths on the water. And officials say there will be no tolerance for drunk boaters this weekend. NBC 26's Raquel Lamel joins us in the newsroom with a story. Now, this weekend is part of National Safe Boating Week, and the Coast Guard is making people aware of just how serious boating and drinking can be. Stephen Seaford is from Sheboygan. He and his family are up this weekend to do some fishing, saying the bay is much busier than usual. Normally, probably about 50 boats here, but now it's completely full, it looks like. And all these people have the Coast Guard paying close attention to boating behavior. Drinking while boating is the number one reason for accidents, according to the Coast Guard. And it can actually be worse than drinking on land. Factors such as being out in the sun all day, um, vibration of the, the boat, um, being dehydrated, things like that. So it has a much quicker and greater effect um, while you're out on the water. Although you're on the water, inspectors say drinking and boating can have the same implications as drinking and driving. You lose your driver's license and have to face all the same penalties. Ricardo Barbosa inspects the boats as they come out of the water. Today, he was conducting a survey. On the past five days, was your boat on any other bodies of water? Ricardo knows how important it is to be a sober operator on the water. If you're intoxicated and you hit the water, a lot of people don't realize if you hit the water at a high rate of speed, it's almost like smacking cement. Seaford and his family had their boat inspected last week. It was worth it, though. I mean, you got to know that you're safe. The ways the Coast Guard catches drunk boaters is the same way that police catch drunk drivers. If you're swerving or going too fast in an area, the Coast Guard says they will stop you. Live in the Green Bay Newsroom, Raquel Amell, NBC 26.